Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the tune The Ashgrove for this wonderful instrument, the CG Anglo Concertina. I've written this out in two clefs and that's because there's so much going on on the left hand side um, of the instrument in this tune that it was impossible really to do it in any other way. Uh, there are lots of schools of thought on how to set out music for this instrument uh, this is mine and uh, I hope you'll understand it with the help of these notes and the video. Lots of people have different ideas on how to write music for the Anglo Concertina. Um, I used to use a form of tablature but I've now moved on to uh, musical notation and with the use of the bass clef I think it will really help you get to grips with the left hand. I think it's fine just to put chord symbols when you're doing a, just a basic um pa pa or um pa kind of um, rhythmical accompaniment but when it's a bit more complicated in the left hand then I think you definitely need to put the notes down uh, as musical notes on the stave and some of the notes of course go uh, low enough to be on the bass clef so anyway I'll go through it bar by bar and you'll be able to understand it hopefully. So a lovely Welsh folk song we're doing it in the key of C major uh, it's a waltz so you're counting in threes so basically you've got one, two, three, one, two, three. And where you see nothing in the bass clef, then you can assume it's a, a standard um pa pa left hand. But I will go through it as I say, bar by bar. The very first bar, you've got one of these anacrusis notes, a pickup note, and it's on the left hand side, and it's a G. So it's on the C row button number five and then you're into the main tune. So you would count that one, two, three, and come in with that note there. The first bar. Now, in the first proper bar, and you can see quite a lot written above that bar, you can see a C, that's the chord you're gonna play with your left hand. You can see a sign, that's a repeat sign that we're gonna come back to later on. And you can see an A in a box, that's just telling us this, this is the start of the A part. So the left hand side is going to be simply um, the classic um, pa, pa. You've got C bass, which is uh, button number one, C row. And then you play the upper part of that C chord, which is a C and an E note, and that's buttons uh, three and four. So your um, pa, pa, little finger, fingers uh, two and one. And that's very simply the uh, left hand. The right hand here is going to be... Um, right, now C, E, G, F. So C, E, G, those are three notes all on the push, buttons six, seven and eight. Again, lots of people will number their buttons differently. I number mine one to 10 across all three rows. So this is button six on the C row, button seven, button eight, button eight again, but this time pulled. So put that together and you've got one, two. Now, when you do that last little, that little F as you pull, make sure your left hand uh, is not dwelling on the uh, the two notes, otherwise you'll get this. Hear that? You don't want that. Um, so you've got to lift off the bass before you play that final quaver. And that first full bar is counted one, two, three, end. 